there really isn't much more you can say about DeMar Penna. His record speaks for itself. DeMar the Wolf Penna! Oh, this kid is on fire. The truck is in very, very deep. We used to fight, me and my friends, in, uh, back in high school. We used to beat each other up in the concrete. Now, six years after that, I'm fighting the UFC. This is... My gosh, thank you very much for this opportunity, guys. You're coming in hard, and the Marta are going for a takedown immediately against Leon is back. Down they go! Big takedown that time, Leon now flat his back. And still, the EFC Norway champion! Oh, man, oh, he oh, oh, confidence that he's retained the belt against Terence Wiesel. Four oh, big shots landed by Pena, he's not unloading! Wiesel now, no answer. Demont Tenner looks to have done enough to retain the belt. Demont Tenner, the gold, the zoo, in the flag. Clinical, absolutely clinical display of wrestling by Demont Tenner. In the new bantam weight here. They say the one is such a bottom fighter, he doesn't have any stand up. I guess I do. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? He is the most dominant champion in the history of the extreme fighting championship. I am the Mark Penna, and I am the undefeated, undisputed EFC Bantamweight Champion of the World. Penna is an absolute monster in the hexagon, but at EFC 55, he'll come up against his biggest rival and toughest challenger yet. Ishad, the White Tiger, Syed! Yeah, it looks to be in a little bit of trouble yet. Syed catches it all oh, on the jaw. Glass eating shots. There it is, it's all over. Debut victory for the White Tiger. Ishad Sayed joined the organization and immediately made a massive impact. The highly experienced Capetonian athlete amassed an undefeated record in the EFC. Mixes it up well now, and Sayed is trying to get out of Bob's way, but Sayed is landing. Ershad Sayed, all the hype about this guy is true. Yes, he is on a six fight win streak. It almost seems apparent that the next challenge would be DeMar Pena. If he can get past Umbi Sebeko. Sayed has kept on moving, kept on striking. Now he's going to get knee on the belly, gets the full mount. Sebeko desperately tries to get out of this. 40 seconds to finish. Sayed's going to look for the finish here. And this looks like, it looks like slaps from Ishan Sayed. Said he was going to teach him a lesson. It's like Slapping. no man's land right here. Maybe a little redemption from the weigh-ins. That is certainly what that is. And now he's going to pepper him with elbows. He's got the high mount. Can Sebeku survive the next 17 seconds? Declaring the winner, Ishan White Tiger Sayed. After four impressive performances that caught the world's attention, Syed turned his sights to the champion, the undefeated DeMart Pena. But both the athletes and the fans would need to wait 18 months before the destined clash. It was a shame that these two couldn't have met earlier. However, Syed did get a chance to get his hands on EFC Gold. It is Ishad Syed, the White Tiger, taking on the Dominator, Cedric Doyle. We know the story. They wanted to make this fight against Pena, and Pena did not want to fight. Well, Ishad Syed has been begging to fight for the belt. Ishad Syed is looking to finish. Can Doyle Three survive? seconds remain. Can Doyle survive it? Doyle He's coming big trouble. Up. He's done. He stopped it. He's done. Bobby Grigini yes. stops the fight. Ishad Syed wins some gold tonight. A great win for Syed, and he really deserved that gold around his waist. Plus, this sets up the fight with Pena perfectly. What would have been a challenger versus champion clash has now turned into a champion versus champion fight. After months of anticipation, the organization's two best 135 pounders finally came face to face inside the hexagon at EFC 54. No fight has more buzz than that main event for the Bantamweight Championship of the World. At this time, I'd like to welcome the two champions. First, he's the undefeated current EFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, DeMartha Wolf Pena. And it'll be his opponent, the interim EFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, Ershad Syed. So, gentlemen, this is it, and I'm going to go to you first, DeMart. 
Urshad Sayed has been making this claim that he wanted this fight for so long. He said he was ducking you. He said that you didn't want this fight. You were afraid to fight him. What do you have to say to him right now? What do you have to say to our EFC audience? Well, I'm here right now, aren't I? Tell me about the game plan. You've been watching him for a long time. You know how he fights. You know how to strategize over at FFM. Talk about the game plan and some of the preparation for Urshad. Well, I think, you know, I'm ready for any, wherever, the, wherever the fight goes, you know. He's, he's quite one-dimensional with his boxing. I'm a lot stronger than he is. Better wrestler, more dynamic stand-up. So we're going to see on the night. I gave him my intentions, what I'm going to do to him. Just stood there and smiled, so, you know, if you want to talk, talk big, why don't you then show it when I'm right there, so. You know, I, I saw that, I saw that in his eyes, he, he knew that he was going to have definitely the toughest fight of his career and he's definitely going to lose. I don't think he wants to fight me, but he doesn't have a choice. So he's forced into the cage with me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm here, bro. Where were you, like, where were you in but the I'm here. I don't think in his heart he's, he's a fighter. I don't think he loves being in there. I think he likes the idea of being a fighter, but he doesn't actually like the fight itself. This is Damar Pena. This is Urshad Syed. This is your main event of EFC 55, November 11th in Cape Town, South Africa. That was one of the most heated face-offs I've ever witnessed inside the Hexagon. And that tension continued later in the EFC 55 press conference. Damar, I think this has been one of the most acrimonious build-ups on social media to any EFC fight in history. How much is the hype real? And how much is a genuine dislike for your, your future opponent? You know, I think uh, in the beginning it was just, just another guy and uh, just another fight, but I think he's gone a little bit too far. He always wants to demean other people to make himself look uh, good. So, so, you know, I'm just there to fight and compete. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm not two-faced, you know. I'll say something on camera and I'll say it to your face and I'll, I'm not two different people. But as soon as the mic, you know, was taken away during our face-off, he started dropping the F-bombs. You know, saying he's going to f kill me. So, you know, you, you put up this facade of being, you know, a respectable person, but at the end of the day, you're just a fraud. You know, Saeed is that kind of guy that always wants to criticize other people to make himself feel better, you know? He wants to feel better about himself, talking uh, bad things about others. So it's his, own, it's his own deal, you know? I'll never say something that I can't prove in the hexagon. Um, so, you know, to make a claim that his striking is better than mine and then he's going to come out there and try to lay on top of me like a wet blanket. Um, you know, uh, if he's, if he's going to make claims like that, then he needs to prove, prove what he has, you know? It's a fight that's been over a year in the making. It's a clash of two strong individuals who in their own right are the best in the business. But now it's crunch time. Finally, we will know who is truly the best in the bantamweight division. Two champions will collide inside the hexagon, but only one will remain. This is the Clash of the Titans. This is the Wolf versus the White Tiger. For more than divisional supremacy, this is the biggest fight in EFC history. The wolf is still a wolf. You can say what you want, but you still gotta prove it on the night. So he knows he's in for a big one. This is a turning point in my career and his career because as soon as you know, I destroy his unbeaten record, he, he loses his value. The fight that fans from around the world have been talking about is here as the undefeated bantamweight champion, DeMart Pena, clashes with his greatest rival, the interim bantamweight champion, Ishad Sayed. Two champions are standing, but only one will remain. DeMarc Penner is without a doubt the most dominant champion in EFC history. Having defended the featherweight title five times, as well as twice defending the bantamweight title, he is undefeated in 11 fights, and it will take a colossal effort to dethrone the Wolf. Penna's last victory came at EFC 41 when he dispatched the dangerous Cedric Doyle with a five-round unanimous decision victory, taking his win tally to 11. The Angolan warrior will step into the hexagon at EFC 55, confident of making it 12. Regardless if it's Ayed or anybody else, I'm still gonna be confident because of the preparation I put in, so I believe I'm a winner and I believe I'm gonna win.
champion in the history of the Extreme Fighting Championship. Penner is the real deal, but he's coming up against a type of athlete he's never faced before. Urshad Syed has won championships internationally. He has won gold here in the hexagon. He is a guy with a ton of skill, a ton of confidence, and a whole truckload of talent. After Pena temporarily refused to defend his title outside of his home country of Angola, the organization gave Syed the opportunity to fight for interim gold. Syed was crowned the interim EFC bantamweight champion at EFC 48 when he too defeated Cedric Doyle. His victory came by knockout in the early rounds. Finally, getting his hands on the EFC title has now only intensified Syed's focus on unifying the belts and standing tall as the one and only champion of the division. I just don't see the Mark's skill set and you know his his capabilities you know, matching mine or surpassing mine on the night at all. All round incredible fighter. He's got a great striking game, a great ground game, good strong wrestler. He's one of the best bantamweights in the world today. Ishan, the White Tiger, Syed! There's been a lot said between these two athletes over the last 18 months. And finally, the time has come for both of them to prove who is truly the best. It's such a tough fight to call, and it can honestly go either way. But one thing that is for certain is that this will be one hell of a fight. Will the undefeated Wolf once again rise to the occasion and prove why he is the most dominant in EFC history? Or will the White Tiger back up his claims and show the world why he is the best? I don't know what's his deal, you know? I was just minding my own business, you know? Just here to compete and be better, but uh, he's taken it to a level that I don't think he understands the way that where I can take it to myself. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this fight. You know, I've put in so much work in, and I know that I'm going to win. I do feel that he's going to be super fit for this fight because he's been running from me for the past 16 months. I think I know what's coming. You know, from his side, I've, I've reviewed his fights, and um, he's pretty one-dimensional with his wrestling and his top game. I'm looking to finish this fight, and I definitely have the ability to do so. It's champion versus champion as DeMart Pena goes head to head with Ishad Syed. EFC 55, champion versus champion. Whatever it's gonna bring, there's nothing that I haven't faced before and nothing that I can't overcome. And just overwhelming. And I will finish him, guaranteed. I'm coming for you. You can run, but you don't hide. And I'm gonna finish you in the exact fashion. Mark my words. Two belts will be unified. Only one champion will remain standing. Plus, EFC lightweight champion Dave Mazzani puts his title on the line against the former lightweight champion Don Madge. Will the dominant American reign supreme or can the magic man reclaim his title? EFC 55, Friday, 11 November, Grand West, Cape Town. Tickets and broadcast information at efcworldwide.com.